Pastor Betty, and this is Everyday Jesus, a program specially made for you wonderful kids because we know you love to worship, study, and learn the Word of God. Now, can you do it with me? Worship, study, and learn the Word of God. Great job, kids. So to begin, we will start with a prayer. Can I see your prayer magnets? And let's pray. Dear Lord, thank you so much for this wonderful day that you have given us. I pray that you will give us wisdom and understanding so that we will be able to apply all of the things that we will be learning today. We love you so much, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. He's the best. So right now, let's all stand up and let's worship with Everyday Jesus. Hello kids, it's time to worship the Lord today, so why don't we all stand up? One, two, three!
Spam and Gary. And I also know you know what time is it, right? It's our Bible story time. So please get your Bibles, your notebooks, and of course, your favorite pens. And once you have them all with you, can you help us, Tora, remember our rule time for today? Rule number one, hands behave. Rule number two, eyes watchful. Rule number three, ears listening. And rule number four, mouth silent. Great job, kids. Now for our Bible story for today, we will be opening our Bibles to Mark chapter 2, verse 1 to 5. Now kids, can you get your Bibles please? And let's open it to Mark chapter 2, verses 1 to 5. And let's read. And when he returned to Capernaum after some days, it was reported that he was at home, and many were gathered together, so that there was no more room, not even at the door. And he was preaching the word to them. 
And they came bringing to him a paralytic carried by four men. And when they could not get near him because of the crowd, they removed the roof above him. And when they had made an opening, they let down the bed on which the paralytic lay. And when Jesus saw their faith, he said to the paralytic, Son, your sins are forgiven. Wow! We have seen that Jesus healed a paralytic man who was brought by his four friends. Now kids, can we practice your counting skills by counting the four friends? Are you ready? Great! One, two, three, and four. Great counting, kids. So these four men, out of their love for their friend, the paralytic man, really made an effort so that their friend can walk. What a great friend the man have, right, kids? Kids, do you have friends? Yes! Do you have good friends? Yes! Do you good things to your good friends? Yes! That's wonderful! Now, can you think of some things that you can do to your friends right now? Maybe you can ask mommy or daddy to call them so that you can talk to them and Pray for them. Or maybe you can ask mommy and daddy to send them the link for Everyday Jesus or send them the link to our kids' church via Zoom services so that they can attend. Now, kids, there are a lot of many good things that we can do for our friends. Remember, kids, good friends do good to each other. Now, can you follow Pastora in this very simple action words? Can we say, good friends do good to each other? Now, can we do it again? Can we say, good friends do good to each other? Now, can we do it the last time? Can we say, good friends do good to each other? Yes, kids. Good friends do good to each other. Now, kids, I know you know what time is it, right? It's our question and answer time. So please do get your notebooks and, of course, your pens. And you can always write down the correct answers so that once we're back in Children's Church, we can always give you extra tickets for every correct answers. So are you ready, kids? Great! Now let's go to our question number one. Who healed the paralytic man? Who healed the paralytic man? Got it, kids? Great job. Now let's go to our question number two. How many friends does the paralytic man have? How many friends does the paralytic man have? You got that, kids? Awesome! And now let's go to our question number three. True or false? Good friends do good to each other. True or false? Good friends do good to each other. You got all of that, kids? Great job. Now for our question number four, which is always our application for today. Now kids, can you do something good for your friends today? Come on, add it in your to-do list. And remember, kids, good friends always do good to their friends. So I think that's it for our Bible story for today. And I hope you learn a lot. And I'll see you again next time, kids! Hello, kids! This is Pastor Mikey. And we're here for our What's the Word? That's the Word segment! Did you enjoy our Bible story? Good job, kids! Before we start, let's play a game! Our word for today is a five-letter word and you have to guess the three missing letters by guessing the objects I'm going to show you. Are you ready, kids? Yes! 
For the fifth letter, can you guess this object? Very good! It's a house. And house starts with the letter H. For the first letter, can you guess this object? Very good! It's a flashlight. And flashlight starts with the letter F. And for the third letter, can you guess this object? Very good! It's an ice. And I starts with the letter I. Our word for today is faith. Faith is believing that God can do and will do everything that He promised to do. Having faith means that we do not ask if God can do it or not. We simply believe that He can and He will simply because He is powerful. Yay! And in our Bible story today, we see four friends who had great faith. All of them believed that Jesus can heal their sick friend. So, they spent time and effort in carrying their friend all the way to where Jesus is. Even if the place were already filled with people, the faith of these four friends did not stop them. They thought of a way to get their friend to Jesus. And because of this, their friend got healed and they all witnessed a miracle. Isn't it amazing? Wow! What amazing faith they had! Because of their faith, they were able to do a wonderful thing for their friend and even witnessed an amazing miracle. Did you know that we can learn from these four friends? When we pray for our friend who is sick or in need of something, we can also believe that Jesus can and will answer our prayers because Jesus is our healer and our provider. Yay! So kids, when you pray for your friends, believe in Jesus that He will do everything He promised to do because He is powerful. Can you repeat that with me kids? Believe in Jesus. One more time, believe in Jesus. Jesus is more than able to answer all our prayers. So did you learn a lot today, kids? I hope you did. See you again next time. Hi, kids. This is Pastor Bad, and today we will have another Bible game. So I will be asking you five questions to see if you have learned a lot from our Bible stories from this week. So kindly send your answers to any of your kids pastors or you may comment them below this video so that we will give you points for all your correct answers. Are you ready? Let's start! True or false? The daughter of Pharaoh showed goodness to baby Moses by adopting him as her own son and taking care of him. True or false? The daughter of Pharaoh showed goodness to baby Moses by adopting him as her own son and taking care of him. The correct answer is true. The Bible tells us that when Moses was a child, he was adopted by the daughter of Pharaoh and took him as her own son. True or false? Dorcas was not a good person. She only thought of herself and did nothing to help other people. True or false? Dorcas was not a good person. She only thought of herself and did nothing to help other people. The correct answer is false. Acts 9.36 teaches us that Dorcas was always doing good and helping the poor. She even made clothes for others because she cared for them. Who prayed for Dorcas? Who prayed for Dorcas? A. Saul, B. John, C. Peter, or D. James? The correct answer is C. Peter. 
Peter was called by friends of Dorcas so he could pray for her. In Mark 2, 1-12, how many friends of the sick person cared for him and believed that Jesus can heal him? In Mark 2, 1-12, how many friends of the sick person cared for him and believed that Jesus can heal him? A3, B4, C2, or D1? The correct answer is B4. The four friends of the sick person brought him all the way to Jesus and even dug a hole in the roof because they believed that Jesus could heal their friend. Wow, you did great, kids! Yay! So please remember to send your answers to any of your kids' pastors or you may comment them below this video so that we will give you points for all your correct answers. So I guess that's it for our Bible game. See you again next time! This is Pastor Bat, and welcome to Incredible Facts segment. Today, Pastor will be sharing with you three incredible facts from our today's Bible story. So before we go to incredible fact number one, can you help Pastor find that one letter F? Were you able to find it? Yes! Incredible! Here's incredible fact number one. The man was healed because of the faith of the four friends. Four people wanted their sick friend to receive healing. 
That was why they did not lose hope even when they could not enter the house where Jesus was staying. They dug a hole through the roof and from there they lowered their friend on a mat so that Jesus could hear him. These friends believed that Jesus could give the miracle their sick friend needed and their faith resulted to complete healing. The man was healed because of the faith of the four friends. That's incredible fact number one. Incredible! Before we go to incredible fact number two, can you help us store find the two letter M? Were you able to find it? Yes! Incredible! Here's incredible fact number two. Jesus was amazed by the faith of the four friends. Jesus was amazed by the faith shown by the four friends. He understood that they cared for their sick friend and he saw that they were willing to go the extra mile just to have their friend healed. Jesus forgave and provided healing in response to the great faith shown by the four friends. Jesus was amazed by the faith of the four friends. That's incredible fact number two. Before we go to incredible fact number three, can you help us Tora find three letter H? Were you able to find it? Yes! Incredible! Here's incredible fact number three. The lame man's healing ended in praise. The people who witnessed the healing were all in awe. They have never seen anything like it. That miracle gave way for the people to praise the Lord. Kids, when healing takes place, it always ends in praise. The, the lame man's healing ended in praise. That's incredible fact number three. Incredible! So, those are the three incredible facts that we have from our Bible story for today. First, the man was healed because of the faith of the four friends. Second, Jesus was amazed by the faith of the four friends. And third, the layman's healing resulted in praise. So, I guess that's it for now for our incredible fact segment. I hope that you learned a lot, kids. See you! Hi, kids. This is Pastora Armira. Are you ready to learn a new memory verse song today? Yes, our verse for today is Luke 6, verse 31. Repeat after me. Say Luke 6, verse 31. Very good. And the song goes something like this. Do, do, do to others as you would have them. Did you enjoy that song? I did too. 
Well, that's it for a memory verse song today. This is Vastara Armira. See you again next time! Hi kids! Welcome back! I hope you enjoyed and learned a lot from our episode today. So right now, it's our prayer time. Do you still remember our three prayer requests? First, we will be praying for our government and church leaders alike that God will always give them wisdom and understanding so that they can always make the best decisions for the people. Second, we will be praying for your families, that God will always keep them safe, and that God will always bless the work of the hands of your parents. And third, we will be praying for you, wonderful kids. What do you want Jesus to do for you? As for us, you know our prayer request for you always is that you will continuously grow in the fear and the knowledge of the Lord, you will always be productive, and you will always be a blessing to the people around you. So are you ready to pray? Let's have our prayer magnets, and let's pray. Dear Lord, thank you so much for all of the things that we have learned today. Right now, we pray for our government and church leaders alike, that God, you will give them wisdom and understanding so that they can always make the best decisions for the people. I also pray, Lord, for our families, that you will always keep them safe, and that you will always bless the work of the hands of our parents. And Lord, right now I pray for these wonderful kids, that they will continuously grow in the fear and the knowledge of the Lord. They will always be productive in everything that they do, and that they will always be a blessing to the people around them. We love you so much, Lord, and we worship you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. He's the best. So that's it, kids, for Everyday Jesus today. I'll see you again next time!